Hello everyone. This video is about the first uh, town competition with the name uh, How Would You Shoot It? We had a lot of fun, we had a lot of participation, uh, we had uh, more than 1000 comments, so we hope you enjoyed it. And in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate for you the patterns. Enjoy the video. So here we have a Per Hagen's pattern, and uh, we have one difficulty, the 7 and the 8. Uh, the faster you break, the better, because you have more options uh, during the game. So if you break with a 3 ball, then it's really really risky and very very dangerous, because you might get hooked. Not might, I think it's a, lot, a big percentage to get hooked from the 7 and the 8 for the 4 ball. Uh, the two ball I don't think is an option to break uh, because if you got on the right on, on that side then you're not gonna be able to see the three ball if you go on that side then you have to be lucky and go back on the center and play the three ball so you probably gonna stay there if you break uh, with the two ball uh, so one ball is the best option uh, faster and better As you see, I got the worst uh, possibility, but it's still makeable and easy. Here we have the Rodney Morris uh, pattern. Um, we have again one difficulty there, the four and five. That uh, there are some options for break for uh, making a safety, uh, but I would keep these options in the worst case. So if something goes wrong, then I have the option of making a safety. But there is the option to break, uh, which is from the two ball. Uh, then uh, you have a few options how to break uh, from the two ball. Um, you can either come here, and many people like this shot, put two ball here, make two drawback, two cushions, go on the four or five, which is really, really hard in this occasion. Uh, so I will go with uh, Rodney because uh, I will go, it's safer. You go sharp on the two ball, there is no any danger of scratching because the four is on the way. So if you think like that, then try to scratch and then. There you have it, you're gonna break the four and the five ball. It's exactly on the, on the line of going in the pocket. So I'm gonna try to do that. And then three is there, so I don't see anything going wrong. As far as you don't go there, because if you go that side, you might get hooked, you might. So let's try.
There. So because the four ball is there now, it's really hard to make a draw back. Not so hard, but I'm gonna choose to go one, two rails and go on the center of the table. It's safer, so I'm not gonna make a foul on the four ball. Here we have uh, Imran Mahid uh, pattern. Uh, it's uh, quite hard to run out, but it's makeable again uh, because uh, the f it's hard because the five and the six uh, they are away from the break balls. Uh, what do I mean? With the one ball, I cannot. I don't have any angle to break the five and the six. With the two ball, it's not possible to break the five and the six because the nine is in the way, and it's not possible even if the nine was not in the way. Uh, and the only way to break the five and the six is the three or the four ball. Uh, the easier way to break uh, the five and the six is the four ball. You can use one, two rails and go straight there. But then what about the five? Uh, nobody promises where it will uh, end. So I think uh, I go again with a, with a phrase, the faster the better. So I'm gonna break with the three. I'm going to, I'm gonna play slow the two ball there and put the three in the center and then with the cue ball I'm gonna break and then game is over, four ball is already there. Let's try. So now one ball there, one, two, three rails maybe or maybe four and count them on the one ball. But three rails is the best way. Three. Now we have to be careful here with the three ball. We, as I see here now, we can also go thin and play, use the, the short cast and the break, but uh, I'm gonna try to avoid that because of the seven ball. break straight away. There, problem solved. Now we just have to be careful with the five and six. So I can either come thin to the four five ball, I think that's the best way to come thin on the five ball and Play one, two to go to the sixth ball. Just like that. Then be careful not to go straight to the sixth ball, but even if I go straight, I think game is over. Uh, you just have to be careful.
Later. Okay, so here we have the pattern from uh, Feather Ghost, the world champion. Um, I see one difficulty here on the table, which is from number one to number two. Um, I also see two options. Number one option is uh, to play one, two rails, three, and come exactly here, uh, and then put the two boulder and go one, two, and come somewhere here, so I can go to the four wall, and then it's game over. Uh, but I think uh, this is a very, very, very hard option because uh, you have to play perfect here. Uh, you have to avoid the eight ball, uh, not touch it, not go behind, uh, not stuck on the rail, not go too far. Because uh, if you get wrong position, if you if you stuck on the rail, then it's almost goodbye because it's not possible to go the three ball with a perfect angle so you can go the three ball to the four ball because the, the, the whole point is to get on that side of the three ball so you can go on the four ball if you go on that side of the three ball how can you go on the four ball yeah there are ways but it's super hard so the best option is to play the one ball there and go one two and come somewhere here either you go there or you go there or anywhere around here, it's perfect. You can put the two there and then you can always get position with a three ball. Let's try it. Well, you see, I got almost the wrong position of the two ball, but it was still makeable and still to go to the right side of the three ball. I got a little bit lucky, but I mean, it wasn't that hard. Okay, so here we have uh, my own pattern. It's not that hard, but uh, it's a little bit tricky. You have the situation of the 7 and the 5 because it's really tight there. And you also have the situation of the 4 and the 8. And we're definitely going to use either the 2 or the 3 to break them. Uh, I'm going to use the 2 ball because it's safer. Why? Because if I break with the 2 ball, uh, then I'm going to use the 3 ball and adjust the position to the 4 ball. If I break with a three ball, then nobody promises the position of the four ball. You, you don't know where it's gonna stop, and then maybe you're not able to pocket it, and you need to make a safe, or maybe it's a very, very hard shot. So you definitely, uh, we definitely choose the two ball, because then we have the three ball to adjust the position of the four ball. And as I said earlier, uh, the faster you solve the problem, the better. Let's try. Now about the 7 ball, I'm not going to play very hard because uh, if I play very hard then we don't know where the 7 is going to uh, stop and we don't want to lose control of the frame. 
And so I'm going to play slow and I'm going to open the seven somewhere there. Right there. And now uh, we have to break the four and the eight, and we're definitely going to use two rails. Because if you use two rails, then nothing can go wrong as far as you have the right speed. If you go one rail and you hit the four on the right side, then you're going to lose control of the cue ball. Let's see. There. Two rails and perfect position for the three ball. And now I think everything, uh, it's a little bit tricky, the four where it stopped, but it's where we expected it to stop. Maybe I expect it to stop a little bit here so I can play on the center. Uh, but now since it stopped there, I'm gonna use maybe the nine ball, stop somewhere there. Yeah, I think this is the, the right choice. I'm gonna come somewhere there and play the four ball there and one and come back on the five ball. I said, use a little bit of an angle and get position. Now, I go a little bit further than needed. I wanted to stop somewhere there, but it's still makeable. Uh, but it's uh, quite hard so now. Uh, but it's still makeable because you can still make the four in the center. And then one rail for the nine ball. Take your time. That's it. Here we have a John Smith uh, pattern. Uh, well, it's obvious that uh, we will play 5 9 in the center. Now you can either choose to do it directly, which is quite hard because if you're not going to make it, what are you going to do with the two ball? You're going to be hooked. So the best option is to come somewhere there. Avoid the 5-9, so play 1-2, come somewhere there. And um, if you get lucky uh, with the speed, you can play the 2 ball and then it's game over. Uh, but you should definitely go for the safety shot. Uh, so if you come somewhere there, then you stop or make a small drawback and 1-2, two, 2 ball goes there and that's it. But if you, if you come get the speed to play the two ball is the best option but it's very hard you have to come somewhere there and then if you go too far then you cannot even set you cannot even make the safety so i'm gonna go for the safety straight away as john said demonstrate the safety uh, and then I'm gonna demonstrate how would it be if it is like that that's the safety it's 
really hard for the opponent to make a reset or even hit two balls, so it's probably going to be a foul. Uh, and then two, three, four, and it's ready. So let's just see the option if I think the two ball. It was there. And then it's still easy because look at this. So the whole point was not to put the one with the five nine. Then I don't see something wrong, and then not go too far, because if you go too far, you still have the seven eight. And uh, there are many many options, but I think the best was to try to go for the safe, as John said. And then if you get a little bit lucky with the speed, then you can play the two ball as I did, and then everything comes automatic. Four and then ready for the five nine. And boom. So here we have the Mario hair pattern. Um, it is a little bit tricky here, the situation with the one and the six ball. Uh, the rest, I think, go automatically. Uh, so the only problem is here with the one and the six ball. You definitely will car on the six ball with the cue ball, and the one ball should stay somewhere here, so you are away from the four ball. So because you should avoid the four ball. If you touch the four ball, then it might get a little bit complicated the frame. But of course, even if you touch it, you still have the angle for the two ball to go to three ball. But we should try to avoid it. I think the best uh, way to keep uh, the one ball somewhere here is to slow roll it and then uh, you keep the one ball here and the cue ball put the six ball and stay somewhere here <clears throat> so you have the perfect angle to go to the two ball let's try it like that Well, it got a little bit tricky now with the seven ball. Uh, I think now I have to touch the seven ball and uh, get position. Um, yeah, I can't avoid it. I will try. Then one, two, go the four ball, and, and then one, two, go on the five ball, and that's it. Stop shot, stop shot. So here we have my Greek's friend Alex, Butter. Well, uh, that's a hard run out, but makeable again. Uh, there are a few ways. Well, since the cubicle is here, you can break straight away, but it's very hard. Why? If you go on, the, on that side of the seven ball, uh, game is lost. And if you go that side, it's good, but yeah, it's super, super hard. Uh, so we're not gonna break with the one ball. It's very, very hard. Nobody's gonna do that. 
uh, then the best solution is to break with the two ball. So we have to come somewhere here with the two ball, play the two ball, and make a draw back and break, and then everything is ready to to run out. Uh, yeah, we can try it. Well, if something goes wrong here, you always have the possibility to the choice to play safety in the six ball. So if I'm not gonna get a good uh, angle to break, I'm gonna try to go for the safety for the six ball. Let's try. Seven ball too. But that's it. Then we have to be careful with the angles now and it's game over. Tricky a bit the six ball. I'm definitely going to choose to play the 6 ball here and then I'm going to get position for the 8 ball there so I can play it there now depends where my 2 ball is going to stop for the 5 ball I'm going to choose, I'm going to come for the 6 ball either there or inside but I think inside is safer, we'll see I lost my choke so I have to land somewhere there, and then everything is automatic. There. Now a little bit push, but it's not a hard shot. It's not an easy either. Sort, but nine ball is open, so I'm a little bit lucky now. There, and that's it. Here is uh, Conrad's uh, pattern. Uh, you know who Conrad I mean, the one that we cannot say his surname. So my friend Conrad has uh, this pattern, it's quite difficult, uh, I can say it's very hard to run out, uh, but it's makeable. Uh, you definitely have to bump the one ball, and uh, because then you can use the two ball to break the five and the six, I, I think this is the right choice, and because if you break with the two ball then you have there ready to play the three ball, and uh, everything is almost automatic. Uh, yeah, let's try. I mean, you can you can still play the one ball there and carve the two ball, but then how are you gonna break the five ball? The five six is not makeable because it's straight. If you see at the uh, pattern, it's straight, so it's not makeable. Let's try. For most of you, uh, stop the cue ball is the right choice for me because I'm a little bit shorter than the average. I have to draw back a little bit back so I can reach. This is the shot of the game. Like that. Now we have to be careful with the four ball because if we go that side of the table then we're not gonna be able to play the five ball. Uh, so we have to go either straight or that side of the, the table. 
I have to avoid this area. And then come somewhere here and play one, two, and come there. Or we could come somewhere here and play slow the five ball. I think both options are really good. It, I think it's what you feel comfortable with. I feel comfortable by playing uh, one, two. Of course, you have to come center of the table and play the seven ball there and come across with the one casting. That was it. So that was it. Town wants to thank everybody for the participation and uh, the 12 winners, congratulations to you and especially to the winner Ranger Gregory. I hope I've pronounced your name right. Uh, congratulations and your participation gave us a lot of food and thoughts for the future. Uh, Town also thanks also uh, Thorsten Homa for his new application uh, that you can find in Nios and it's called T-Lab. Really easy to create the patterns and thank you Thorsten for that. As a gift, I'm gonna make a really nice jumpsuit for you.